Okay, you guys, this is episode 12 of A Tomboy's Heart. Oh, come on, fucking douche lord. Oh, see, now you want to go for two seconds, two seconds fucking recap. Alright, guys, and it starts now. What the fuck? I open my eyes to see bright light shining into my face. Where the fuck am I at? The goddamn dungeon, bitch? What happened? Finally, you're awake, you dipshit. <laughs> I could not stand his ass. I can't believe that you weren't watching where you were going. You were bitten by a snake. I just woke up from a snake bite and you just yell at me like an asshole. Do you know what I would have done? Wait, do you know what I would have done if I lost you? What? I would lose my mind knowing that you're gone on my watch. <laughs> Who else would be here to yell at me every time I do something stupid? Quit being so stupid, Carter. Watch what you're doing. You scared me half to death. <laughs> you care too much. That's your problem. Care too much? Yeah, I care too much about you to lose you now, Carter. Just be careful next time, you fucking shithead. <laughs> he needs a chill pill. They just cussed you the fuck out, girl. Are you? How are you doing, Carter? Not so well, but I can still. I, but I can make it through the trip. The nurse said that you had to be taken home. Um, you aren't in the best condition. I promise that I can make it through. I'm sorry, but results say that you need to get home. Do I have to? Sorry, Carter. Do you know if your dad can pick you up? I don't know. Wait, I don't do that. My dad works. Well, I can't do that. My dad works for long hours. Besides, we're far from home, from my home. Can uh, Connor take you home? I don't want to ruin his trip. Maybe someone who doesn't want to be here. We have, I'll take her home. I was like, what the fuck? Okay. I'm not crazy enough to let you take her. I've seen your driving, Alex. Congrats, you have eyes. Let me get you a trophy for being on top of student. <laughs> There's no way I'm going with someone like you. I can't believe that I came with you. Carter, sweetie, do you want to go to, <laughs> to your bed and sleep? Or do you want to be there in the smelly cabins and die of, of how horrible that field trip was? Ugh. Um, he had me at sleep. How did you even bring your car? It's the beauty of being rich. Okay, girl. How's the school play going? I don't know. How was it? You, to, I don't know how was it to you, Naughty Santa. Naughty Santa, what's that? Pretend all you want. It's been good, I guess. I've learned all my lines already. It's only been three weeks since then. I know, but the play is coming in two days. Once everyone comes back, it'll be uh, time by then. How much are the tickets? Um, Around $10. You're into plays? Not like there's anything wrong with that, but I don't expect to see you at a place like that. Not really. I'm just going to see someone. Hmm. Who? Emma, the bitch. <laughs> no, that's a one-time thing. We hooked up and that's it. Don't talk about that in front of me. That's gross. It's just gross. Just fucking gross. I see that we passed the road that we were supposed to go through in order to get home. Alex, you passed the exit. We're not going home just yet. I need to go home and rest, dickhead. <laughs> Who wrote this? Somebody from fucking Philly clearly wrote this shit. <laughs> it's not like you're going to die in two minutes, he said. Just you need to rest. Exactly. Let me go rest. Resting can wait, but fun can't. I don't have time for this. Ele wait. Is that my favorite video game? Her ass be out of there. I have to admit it was really fun. I played games that I haven't played in years. I don't know how long we stayed there, but by the time we left, it was night. 
I know I said this a lot, but I want to thank you for everything you've ever done for me. I mean, I mean it, Alex. You've done a lot for me, and I hope you know that. I really do appreciate it. Stop talking and just enjoy it. You know, you're stinking ass. You really, you can go home now. I can take care of myself. Is your dad not here? What about Lucas? They both have jobs. Even Lucas? Isn't he 14? Yeah, but he should be back in a little while. Damn it, Carter. Nobody is ever at your house. <laughs> Go home. I'm tired. It's fine. I'll stay here and watch over you. I said I'll be fine, Dickie. I just want to sleep. You can't be here alone. I'm 17. I think I can take care of myself. You said that when you got drunk at that party and then you almost got kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Did they both have good outcomes? Whatever. But I'm sleeping in my bed. Alex's point of view. I heard Carter snore and breathe heavily. She was sprawled all, all over her bed while I lay on the hard ground. I didn't mind though. Is so it is her room after all, overall. Um, my eyes begin to close, drifting off to sleep. I don't know what I would have done. I, I would. I don't know what I would do without you, Carter. Hmm. We'll live your fucking life like a normal fucking thing that you are, sir. Aren't you still tired? I think I'm going to go back to sleep. No, we have to go somewhere. Alex, I'm tired. Let me sleep. Quit being lazy and let's get out of here, dork. The place tomorrow, I need to go over my lines. You can do that in the car. Fine. Where are we going? It's cool. You'll like it. He don't never get no motherfucking answers. And he used to be bossing her motherfucking ass around. Wow, this is actually really cool. My mom showed this to me when I was a child before she went business crazy. She never really showed compassion towards Xavier and I. She says it's because she wants to raise us right. It doesn't even make any sense to me. True. As much as I don't like your mom, I think she'll come around. You don't know her like I do. She's the devil in disguise. Oh, God. Anyways, I just wanted to share it with you since I know you're really artistic. And uh, you like to paint. How do you know that? I saw I saw paintings in your room. You're not that bad. You're st you're very stalkerish, aren't you? It's not stalking. I was observing your room. Call it whatever you want. Alex, are you always like this? Like what? Some bad boy with the motorcycle and with the cigarettes between his fingers. <laughs> I don't change for anybody, Carter. Even when I love them, I never will. People say you have to tame the bad boy, but what is this? Some sappy love story? Kind of. Um, I won't be tamed or whatever you want to call it. I'll always be the same Alex Parker there ever was. I just ask for one word, not some emotional rant. You ask the question. I think I should get home. I really need to go over my lines for the class. Right, we should go. I'll be fine. I can walk myself. See you tomorrow then. Now, bitch, you wouldn't let me go anywhere all over this America. Now, all of a sudden, I can fucking walk home. You're totally falling for her, man. Of course not. I don't fall for them. They fall for me. I see it on your face, Parker. You're into her. Shut the hell up, Zeke. I don't like her. Stop lying to yourself. You haven't shown anyone this painting in years. Your point? My favorite uh, delinquent has a little crush. I don't have a crush on her now. Don't you have to go to jail? You got me there. <laughs> on the day of the play. Mm. Oh my god. At the sorry you guys but I, I can't start recording oh, I'm like, I just cannot play this game all over again I just can't no 
I hate when people do that. Why? Why must you call several times? <laughs> Are you excited, Carter? You're up. You're about to go up. I feel like I'm going to barf. I second that. Xavier, why aren't you dressed? I haven't been feeling good. I don't think I can continue. What? Who am I going to find to fit your part? I can do it. Alex Parker, you don't know the lines. No, but I can make it work. <laughs> I'm Alex. <laughs> Are you sure that this is okay with you, Xavier? I need to puke. Oh, God. No time for this. Alex, go save a show. <sighs> this just pissed me off. Why would you call me two times? If I just declined your call the first time, why would you call again? Like, that, ugh, that was so irritating. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just going to walk around since they're gone. What type of fucking walking around are you doing? I didn't know we had this many people. I started off. Hey, Jerry. How's your day? Who's Jerry? The crowd laughed at Alex's reply, which wasn't in the script. You, you're Jerry, my friend, remember? Alex stared at me with a blank expression. Carter, I don't know what we were supposed to say. Somehow the crowd thought it was a part of the scene. After minutes of terrible acting, our final scene was coming up. God, we're terrible. Speak for yourself. They love me. <laughs> we just have one last scene and we're done. This was going to be the most awkward ass scene of history. I love you, Jerry. I love you, too. This is the kissing scene. Are you ready? I guess. Okay, the crowd begins to clap and the curtains close at the sign that the play was over. Holy shit, that felt good. What in the hell? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, yeah, I like Alex. Oh, my God. Hurry up and get changed. I want to show you something. I'm always barking out some goddamn demands, sir. Ready? Follow me. Where's his shoes at? That shit stresses me out. <sighs> Again, I wanted to show you this because it's special to me. It's my quiet place. Why are you showing me this? The truth is that I like you, Carter. I don't know why, but I do. It's like you put some kind of spell on me. <laughs> I want you. Only you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hell no, child. <laughs> you make me happy in a way that I, <laughs> only I can understand. You intrigue me. I never thought I would like you in a way like this. But I want to be with you, Carter. I'm supposed to make you happy and I will. I've realized something over these past days, Alex. We fight, you know why? Because we both care about each other. I've been liking the wrong person all along. What? What I'm trying to say is that I want to be with you too. Okay, gosh. Okay, everything felt right up to this moment. Okay, okay, okay. We laid on the floor and fell asleep on the peaceful sounds of nature. He was fast asleep, but I woke up a couple minutes and I kissed his cheek. My heart belongs to only you, Alex Alexander Parker. I know it does. I thought you were asleep. You scared me. <laughs> it's just that my heart skipped the when I heard you say those words. You're so corny. Don't ruin the moment. <laughs> we, we lay back down and took another long nap. Why are y'all sleeping outside on the fucking ground? It's bugs and shit out there, girl. But you know she's a fucking time boy, so she clearly don't give a shit. 